Okay, so this is the last section in the middle of the boat here. Woohoo! <laughs> How good does that look? As mentioned in earlier videos, getting this inside paintwork done really was my nemesis. But once I started and started to do the work, that light at the end of the tunnel really did start to come into view. And in this video, we're going to see me achieve getting to the end of that tunnel and into the light. And my goodness, was that such a good feeling. Very difficult to get an idea of things actually because um, the camera doesn't have a wide enough angle to sort of um, give you, give the perspective but essentially this is the last section to prepare and paint. Two more little bays here. I'll try and do a bit of a panoramic. Um, yeah I mean it's not easy to get perspective as, as I say. Shooting off that forward section. We're right in the middle of the boat now. And then uh, around to the starboard side. The cabin roof, of course. So this is very exciting, really, to be able to be in the last section. As I say, difficult because I can't get wide enough uh, angle view with this camera anyhow. I'm sure it gives a general idea. Just to explain, getting film of me painting the inside of the boat really wasn't possible. There's so much overspray and it creates such a cloud that the camera would have been covered in paint within a matter of minutes. So sorry about that.
a cave, a moment that I have certainly been waiting for. For always, as is always the case, longer than hoped or planned or whatever. But anyhow, the boat has been painted on the inside. My God, thank all the gods. Such uh, a lot of work, but happy days now. So hard to get a wide enough angle to get the appreciation of it. But, um, done. So the next stages are spray the, the insulation foam on, which I've got at home ready to go, drill the holes for the electrical flexi tube to pass all the electrical wiring, which I've got, as well as the uh, 0.1 or 52mm in Australian terms, um, square millimetre tinned cable for the windlass going forward. So there's, that's the next lot of jobs, basically spray on insulation, holes in the beams for the flexi tube for the wiring. I'm going to lift the motor up so that I can give another coat of white in the engine bay because that's been so long and it's just a bit grubby in there and it's just going to be easy uh, to do that now so I'm going to lift that up change the engine mount rubbers so once the bay is painted rubbers are on lower the engine connect it all up exhaust hose fuel filter fuel tank water strainer air filter oil in the motor, coolant, hook up the exhaust and run the engine. That's what's next on the agenda. Woohoo! So, coming up next. Time for a bit of an update. So we've now just entered the new year, 2018. Yay!